Bonjour YouTube! Today we are in the heart of Paris. It's called Ile de la Cité. In this video we are going to show you how small Paris used to be, where it was founded and what is there to see right now as of 2021. So join us on a trip around Ile de la Cité. On, on y va! One of the main things when you come to Ile de la Cité is to visit Jewish Memorial. It was inaugurated in 1962 to commemorate the Jews who were deported during the Nazi occupation, Second World War. Unfortunately today we couldn't go inside because it's closed at the moment but once everything is reopened we will definitely come back and check it out. So I don't know if you've noticed this, but this city, well, this part of the city is extremely quiet. We are in the heart of Paris. This is where the city was basically founded. Um, during the medieval times, it was very, very small. Um, it had natural protection of the Seine River, so the city itself was quite protected. The king used to live here. The main residence of the king and the royal court was here as well. We will see it a bit later. Uh, we have Notre Dame right next to us, which we will show you. Notre Dame is currently now closed, as you know, because it, there was a fire and um, they are rebuilding it now. Um, what I really like about this island is that it's so quiet. Even if it's a busy day, you can come here and it's still quiet. Over here is where you find the uh, look of the island kind of changes. That's because in the 19th century, during the reworks of the city, Houseman literally just uh, ordered uh, the removal and destruction of houses here. So a lot of people were displaced here just to make way for the buildings, such as the one behind me, which is the hospital. It's the old hospital, Hotel Dieu. Behind it, you will see more and more changes. We're going to go around it right now. But this is where 19th century Ile de la Cité starts, so to speak. And um, from this point onwards, most of it is retransformed, changed with bigger streets, bigger boulevards, bigger buildings, and less of the old medieval Parisian architecture. So just imagine, behind me, this empty space used to be all full of houses, small streets in between, and lots of people living here. But then, they had to be removed during the Ousman works, and now all you have is just this beautiful, vast, empty space that gives incredible views to the Notre Dame Cathedral. Um, interesting thing, in, in the mid-20th century, this area used to be just parking lot and people could drive around it but thankfully it was later on closed and uh, now it's just open to people now we've reached the um, old residence of the king the royal residence and um, this used to be the main residence of the king until the 14th century before they moved to the Louvre. Now it functions as the uh, Palais de Justice, so the Justice House, uh, well, Palace of Justice. And next to it is one of the oldest and most beautiful ch chapels in the country, Saint Chapelle, that was uh, built during Saint Louis. The main reason why of, of its construction was that Saint Louis brought the uh, crown of thorns of Jesus Christ. It's one of the most important relics in Christianity and it's still there. 
Currently Saint Chapelle is closed. Unfortunately, we cannot visit it now, but you can see it from outside. It's in a Gothic architectural style. It's extremely beautiful and it's one of the most visited and most popular chapels in the world. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go around the area. We're gonna go around here and we wanna show you the first ever public clock tower that was built in Paris. So let's go and see it now. The clock is it's considered to be a marvel because back then people never saw anything like that. Now we've arrived to one of my favorite, if not the most favorite, little square in the city. It's called Place Dauphine and uh, it was built during Henri IV, Henry IV, um, and named, the name was given after his son, who was uh, in the French, in the French tradition, is called Le Dauphin, and um, the son's name was Louis XIII. The place itself is a triangular shape, and uh, at the end of the place, you have the buildings that just open up, and you can see the most amazing sunsets from there. The light is beautiful, and uh, Pont Neuf, connects to the class right at the center. For, for those who are wondering, Pont Neuf is the oldest bridge in the city. For that, you have to check out our video for snow in Paris and the bridges about it, up there, <laughs> and in the comments below. There are so many people here today. Well, you can't go anywhere, but people are just chilling out. They're playing the French game Pétain, which is, uh, it's another story. <laughs> um, it's like this metallic ball that you throw and uh, you throw it on the sand through uh, I don't know what. Anyway, so um, so we are gonna go now to the uh, end of the of this little square and you will see the statue of Henry IV and uh, we will also go to a little green spot that just gives you the most amazing and beautiful views of the city. So let's go there. Luckily, the police hasn't arrived yet, <laughs> so people are just sitting here without any social social. <laughs> At the moment, the place doesn't look so green, but in summer, it's stunning. So much greenery around, and so many people come here to hang around with their friends and etc. I think it's one of the hidden gems in Paris because thankfully the tourists don't know it yet, and it's most local people come here and have their drinks with their friends and socialize during the confinement, of course. I, and I love it. However, there is one minus point, which is if there is any flood in sand the whole place will be underwater and if you check our flood episode in Paris you will see this place was flooded so I think it's better to be here during summer where there is no flood So, Ile de la Cité, heart of Paris, the oldest bit of Paris that has been through a lot. It's been demolished, part of it has been demolished, the other part has been de rebuilt, demolished and rebuilt. And even today, Notre Dame is being rebuilt after the ravaging fire. Is there a lot to discover? Absolutely. 
Is there always a chance to get lost and find something new? Definitely. We absolutely love it.